So after you're confident and steady on these, the fundamental with the first harmonic, we're going to add in the second harmonic, which is always the fifth note of the scale. So for instance, if uh, you're using C, and let me demonstrate on tenor, because you can use these harmonics on any saxophone. Clunk. So here's a low C. I'm going to play low C, I'm going to play middle C, and then I'm going to play the fifth note of that C scale, which is G, and I'll show you here. Just count up five with me, beginning on C. Okay, that's my, I'm just on G. Just use the normal fingerings there. But I'm going to get now these notes. Using only the low C fingering. So what I suggest you do is just take a few minutes a day on this, but the key is that it's every day, not once a week. Take a few minutes and use these, do these overtones. You want to take your time, so you want to make sure each tone is clear before you move on. You want to slur the tones. Don't tongue them if you can avoid it. You manipulate your vocal mechanism, so it's really like singing. If you have a trouble getting any pitch out, sing, try to sing that note. So for instance, if I'm trying to get this high G out on the C fingering, and it's not coming out, I'll, I'll just play it with this normal fingering. And then sing the pitch. And that helps get it in my ears, because half of the battle here, what we're doing, in addition to developing our vocal mechanism, is to develop our ability to imagine these different pitches clearly. It's often a weakness of saxophone players, and, and I'm the, the biggest offender of this. You know, we're taught, at least I was taught, and I'm sure many of you were taught, okay, when you see this note, that's a B. The way you make a B is you press this button and you blow. When you see that note, it's a G sharp. Press these buttons and blow. Well, that's all well and good to get you started. But for brass players, for instance, trumpets, trombone, French horn, tuba, they don't have that luxury. I mean, they're showing a fingering combination, but they also need to imagine that tone very clearly in their uh, inner ear. And so it's really important for us to develop that inner hearing as well. It improves our tone, improves our pitch, and our intonation dramatically. So I've printed up uh, these little exercises. They're on a sheet uh, at my website, uh, which is linked down below. So go ahead and uh, download a copy. It's just free PDF. These are all basically, by the way, from this book, uh, Top Tones for Saxophone. You still do that? It's by Sigurd Rascher. Sigurd Rascher was one of the first major classical saxophone virtuosos. Um, I'm not exactly sure the years he lived. I'm sure you can Wikipedia that, Wikipedia that in about three seconds. Um, he was a 20th century artist. But this is a great book he wrote. It's very thoughtful, very thorough. I got this copy when I was about 17, um, many moons ago. It's still in print. So, and I, so I barely, in this video, scratch the surface of all the, the wisdom that Sigurd Rascher has put in this book. So, that's it. Hey, thanks for watching. Good luck with your overtones. I hope they help you. Have a great day.